Hello, welcome back to Outside Xbox. I'm Mike. I'm joined by Andy. Hi. And we have been playing Sea of Thieves. Nice. Which is Rare Software's pirate thing. Lucky Lou's already getting in excited for the piracy. Are that's you Vile Vincent? No, I'm not. No, oh. look, it's first person. Ah, it's first person. Vile Vice Vincent's my uh, right hand man. What are I you? Guess. What are you called? Uh, I don't know what my name was actually. Probably. Malevolent Mike. Yeah, something like that. I'd imagine. Yeah. yeah. Look at my awesome ship. Oh, is that yours? Yeah, I nice. own that. It's all mine. I mean, nice. good ship. It's sort of co-owned <laughs> so with, with Vile Vincent. Vile Vincent. Um, you probably should have gone into business with someone with a nicer less name. Less vile. Nice, yeah. nice Vincent. Maybe not, not killing Kevin. Or John, something. John McMurder. <laughs> probably. I don't know if I trust John Kevin. McMurder as well. <laughs> Turns out he did a load of murders. As long as he's McMurdering someone else, I'm fine with it. That's true. Is that a plank? Yeah, and some uh, some grog. Grog. Yeah. Nice. And uh, a hurdy gurdy. Oh, a hurdy gurdy. Nice. All right. Um, it's pretty good. Okay, so you're going to fall I'm in the <laughs> sea? <laughs> <Yeah>. That's <laughs> almost immediately that your, fell in the your sea. plan? Okay. I'm the best. I've diluted my grog, I think, probably. It's just a mug of salt water now. Yeah. You're just going to throw up everywhere. Delicious. Delicious mug of salt water. Are you just keeping that in your trousers? Um, yeah, well, where do you keep your mug of grog? Well, I'd put a lid on it, maybe. Or something. <laughs> 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 they hadn't invented lids. <laughs> okay. So right. I'm playing a bit of music with, uh, with Val Vincent. He's a whiz on the oh, accordion, yeah. in spite of the fact he's missing his left hand. So how does how does that work? Everyone just plays, and if they're playing together, it all it all syncs up, syncs yeah. Up. And you play Ride of the Valkyries. Pretty good. Well, that's excellent. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. probably the best feature of the entire game. <laughs> does it do anything? No, other than intimidate your enemies. Yeah, hey, you're all just dancing around playing <laughs> hurdy gurdies and accordions. I like to, yeah, I like to stand on the prow, hurdy gurdying threateningly at the other pirates so i thought i'd uh i thought i'd test my uh you know how like in america they get you to walk along a line with your finger on your nose when you're drunk sure let's say that you know when they think happens. you've been driving uh -huh. drunk let's say that's what happens <laughs> <laughs> um and so i thought i'd try this on the prow of the ship with my hurdy gurdy <laughs> after three sips oh, of of rum yeah. <laughs> oh it is so it's affecting your ability yeah, oh, to it walk is, yeah. so there right. you go and you're back in the drink yeah again twice and we haven't even set off yet possibly the worst pirate ever yeah i'm up there yeah the worst pirate i've ever heard of but i have heard of you yeah well there uh, you go oh yeah let's see the the captain's oh, quarters yeah. this like is it? pretty sweet i thought i'd claim this bed i shotgunned yeah. this bed basically. you all can sleep on the deck i'm yeah. having this so you can sail a ship on your own but it's really hard because there's lots of different bits to do but i just unfurled the sails there and look we're already going someone well, probably raised the anchor as well yeah we got a demo of this earlier um as well and the the guy was trying to run the ship on his own and crucially when you're on the wheel you can't actually see where yeah. you're going because <laughs> you the sail's in the way <laughs> you need someone standing at the front telling you where you're going just shouting when there are rocks about to hit you my job here yeah so you're drunk and shouting about rocks yep i i think i'm the world's greatest navigator clearly it's yeah so lovely sea look off we go and nice. we need to keep an eye out for other ships because it's all multiplayer, and there are other crews of pirates going around doing... Just marauding and yeah. stuff. So we don't really know what the aim of the game is at this point. No, no no one knows what you're actually supposed to be doing. Presumably there's a story... I think there are quests. They talked about doing quests. Yeah. So I don't know, there will be a story where you have to go and do stuff, but mm. if you want, you can just get drunk and play the hurdy-gurdy I and suspect raid other ships. I suspect that's what I like to do. Yeah. So um, I thought I'd head up to the crow's nest and look for other ships. So it's got a, um, a treasure chest system they were talking about where your ah, loot okay. is kept in treasure chests. Right. And then you can you each have a treasure chest on right. the ship and you can put it sort of wherever you want. So you could stash your treasure chest up here, hope that people don't come up here looking ah, for it. And cool. also um, they were saying that if you're being pursued by uh, enemy pirates, yeah. one tactic is to throw maybe one of your chests overboard. And right, then and hope that they, hope stop, that they that. stop and pick that up rather than coming for the ship and trying to get all of them. It's not going to be your good chest, though, is it? It's not going to no, be your best chest. It's just one full of gummy worms. <laughs> just tip that overboard. I mean, that sounds delicious, actually. That's true. I'd stop for that. I mean, what even is a piece of eight? Th what would be really cool is if you could all take a piece of the map and bury your treasure somewhere. Yeah, well, I think you can do that. It's like, um, you know how in Grand Theft Auto Online, you yes. bank your money. Yeah. I think it's a similar thing in this. You can bury, bury your, your money. Bury your money. <laughs> That's excellent. So people don't like rob you of all your life's savings <laughs> yeah. whenever you get it's or good if you to get be a fiscally, well. fiscally responsible pirate. No right? fall damage then. No, not at all. <laughs> well, not at the moment. <laughs> okay. Look, there's a boat. Look, oh, we're all gonna, getting ready to... You're going to go and raid it. Yeah, we're all getting ready to fire the cannons. Nice. So it's actually a really beautiful looking game and... The sun starts to set here, and you get all these beautiful pink skies ah, and things. That's and nice. Look at that! Look at that amazing like 
bloom lighting or whatever you All right, so for no reason, you guys are just <laughs> completely opening up on each other. Well, we're pirates, yeah, and that's how, that's how we do. Fair that's enough. That's just how we do. Fair enough. It's working quite well, I think. It's going, it's going reasonably well. I'm Get not sure we've actually... In. Yeah. So they, they were also talking about the, um, the death mechanic in this, and they don't want death to be too much of a penalty. Right. But it sounded like they've got, when you die, hmm. they've got something a bit like the waiting room from Beetlejuice. Right. Remember that movie? Yes. Where all the dead people sit around in a waiting room, and they sort of take a ticket. And you're, like, waiting to respawn, but it's also, like, a social space, yeah. so you can go around and chat to other dead pirates. If you're all in a big battle together, and yeah. then you see your mate, and you're like, oh, what happened to you? And he's like, oh, I got a cannonball in the face. Yeah, my head came off because yeah. of a cannonball. I was uh, drunk and fell off and drowned. That's more likely to yeah. be the way I died. You know, in fact, plank. look, I'm standing on the plank, Why playing are you the hurdy-gurdy. <laughs> that's, that, that's not a sound tactic for a, a naval How do you cannon know? battle. I'm, um, like, uh, I'm like moral support. You're, dis <laughs> you're disappointing Vile Vincent. Yeah. He's going to be furious. He will be angry, and you, you don't want to see him when he's angry. But it's quite difficult to hit things with a cannon, as you might expect. So mm. it's, got quite an it's really satisfying it. when you get a really solid hit on someone. Mm. Well, you can upgrade things as well. Mm. There's, um, we were talking about the customization in the game. So I think that's going to be very important for this mm. because you obviously want to make your own pirate ship and uh, your yeah. own pirate crew. So there's obviously going to be like player customization, but also the ship stuff. So your own figurehead, your own sails, yeah. and also things like cannons and uh, yeah, your weaponry. Can I have my own flag that's a drunk skeleton? Uh, presumably. I don't that's know if you can design cool. them yourself, but it sounds that sounds like exactly the sort of thing that would be in the flag shop. Which pirate was uh, had a drunk skeleton? Um, oh, God. Was it Blackbeard? Yes. One of them definitely had a drunk skeleton. I think it might have been an hourglass on Blackbeard. Oh, okay. Probably drunk anyway, then. Yeah. Blackbeard was legendary for massive parties, right? He right, had a party yeah, yeah. that could be heard in the neighbouring state. Yeah, he, they sent boats down from Florida because he was being too loud. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best noise complaint in history. <laughs> I, I can only aspire to do that sort of thing in Sea of Thieves. You probably want to tack at this point. I might end up just drinking. I'm <laughs> <laughs> in the scene. Yeah. I kept falling down that hole in the middle of the ship. I don't know what the technical term for the hole in the middle of the ship is, but yeah. I kept dropping the down it by accident. Faux castle? I don't know, Maybe. it's probably not that. Check it out. We're about to murderize these guys. Oh, yeah. Look, look. Nice. Well, I keep missing, but I'm sure someone else is hitting them. <laughs> it's really difficult to see what's going on because there's a load of smoke, and obviously it's nighttime now. Yeah. It makes it even more difficult. Look, there's a solid hit on the, on the captain's quarters. Nice. Yeah, good job. Quarters, probably. On his hind quarters. Yeah. Well, hopefully, if he was sitting in his chair at the time. If he was mooning you <laughs> through, a, through a porthole. That's a traditional pirate tactic, I yeah. can imagine. Um... Yeah, but the sea battles are awesome and epic, and you could do things like drop the anchor for a sort of handbrake turn type Yeah, thing. I think the idea is more, like, uh, plausible than realistic. Yeah. So it's things that you're like, oh, that probably makes sense, yeah. rather than things that could actually happen. Yeah. So if you, like, drop the anchor and uh, steer hard left, you're going to do... Like a cool turn. But yeah, like a handbrake turn, mm. basically, in a... In a pirate ship that's pretty awesome we yeah. all just want to live the fantasy right although i mean i don't know whether this is something you can do if you have a knife there are no weapons in this build so right like there are loads more obviously you saw the grog you saw the hurdy-gurdy and the accordion and stuff um you, there will be many many more items apparently that you can use so if you had a cutlass you could jump off swim over there board their ship and just yeah. start hacking them up yeah you can totally board ships and i'm hoping they'll have like ropes to swing over there as well oh that'd be awesome some of the sailing mechanics sounded quite involved as well the, mm. the guy was talking about actually tacking which is where you you sort of raise and lower the sail to catch the the winds as they move in different directions yeah yeah so the fact that you can actually do that i mean that's fairly involved mm. yeah i think the idea is to make it not so complicated that a, a sort of reasonably well-organized team of pirates can't do it, um, but more complicated, you know, complicated enough that you, you are encouraged to cooperate with other pirates. I think that's the key. Yeah. Because this game is going to be most fun when you're all all playing accordions together, probably. Look, we're getting really close to this guy and everything's going accordion to plan. Oh, God. Yes, <laughs> out. I'm throwing you overboard. You can walk the plank. So one of the other things is if you get hit, you can end up underwater at the bottom oh, of the Oh, so you've been, yeah, yeah you've been We've holed been below the waterline. But Val Vincent, always on quick it. on the job, is going to board up that, that hole and we'll be... Oh, you just leaving him to it. We just assume that Val <laughs> Vincent's got it. I'm pretty sure. He sounds like a trustworthy guy. He's vile, but he's reliable. <laughs> so do you have to do you have to bail it out, or uh, I will it just dissipate? There wasn't there wasn't a bailing option here, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist in the full game. But you can you can definitely board stuff up and 
make sure you don't completely sink. We did manage to sink a ship, I believe. Nice. Do you, so do you have unlimited boards, or do you need to get like resources and things? At the moment, it's unlimited, but I, it wouldn't surprise me if there is a degree of sort of crafting and gathering and yeah, things like that. Yeah, getting tar and things. Yeah. Oh. That's cool. I feel like I can like raise the sails a bit, which has the bonus effect. Look, you can see the wind catching there. Ah, nice. Yeah, you can turn them left and right as yeah. well, like I was saying when you want to do the stuff like tacking. Yeah, and um, the bonus effect of this is now the guy steering can see where <laughs> That is going. also Although a bonus effect. I've dropped effect. it again. Well done, me. I'm really helping there. Can you see? Yeah. How much I'm helping. That's cool. I really liked it in like, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, just, just tooling around the ocean in the jackdaw. Yeah, it's, so. it, it's fun to have a game that focuses on all the, the fun bits of being a pirate and none of the gout <laughs> and like murder. Scurvy yeah. and yeah, being keel hauled. Yeah. There's, you can see a bit of like the aurora oh, yeah, and stuff, that's like cool. Northern Lights. Not sure that's something that happens in the Caribbean, but <laughs> yeah. we'll let that slide. But there you look, up on the left. Yeah, and there's going to be ghost pirates, right? Yes, so I saw some like models of skeleton pirates and things at the stage oh here at Gamescom. Um, nothing in this build, but like I think that's going to be part of it, is ghost pirates. So I can tell you're excited already. Yeah, I am. Finally, ghost pirates. Yeah, exactly. About time. So there you go, there's another ship. I think that's the one we sunk and it's respawned. Oh, right. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's just really, really good fun. Very silly. Uh, it's like typical rare sense of humour. Look, this is where it gets really messy. Oh, just man, just average. broadsiding <laughs> each other. Wow. Yeah, messy, real yeah. messy. No one comes out of that looking no. good. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just it's classic rare, basically. It's a bit of a return to form, so I'm really pleased that they're making uh -oh. a really exciting game. Yeah, we don't have any guns at the back, whereas they're still sort of facing at us. Yeah, you should get some back guns. That's yeah. what they're called, right? I think so, yeah. Those little ones, those little targeting ones. Oh, swivels. Yeah, swivel guns. Yeah. Those are the ones. We can just Yikes. drop a load of burning barrels, <laughs> right? Yeah. This is all legit piracy stuff. You can tell I've really researched this. So there we go. John McMurda. Good job. Val Vincent. Well done. Promotions all round. I've fallen down the hole in the middle again. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. No promotion for you. No. So that was Sea of Thieves. We've been outside Xbox. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. Bye.